Hello, hello, sir. Yes, see, before we begin, right now, you have time. I also want your 20 25 minutes. Quick round of introduction would be appreciated if you can just brief, um, you know, us about your background. Uh, so, like, uh, I'm an engineer uh, from IIT Delhi, and uh, like, I like my I have given gate in 2018 also and 2019 also. Okay. Right. So Yasti hails from IIT Delhi, okay, and um, 99.78 CAT 2019, yeah, highest being verbal, 99.95. So Yasti, you had given some pointers. Um, by the time I, you know, get the PPT on the screen, uh, would you mind just going through and, you know, kind of briefing everybody about um, as to what needs to be done, as well as the quants is concerned. So, Anything, whatever that you must must have heard, Manavar, right? So anything that you want to kind of do an add on, uh, whatever you said, you can do that, and then probably you can have your own pointers. I'll just get the PPT up and done for you, and you can you can begin. Over to you. Uh, so uh, like for quant, uh, like paper attempt strategy, uh, like quant ka ye bhot issue ho jata hai that quant is the last section. Like you're already sitting there for two hours and you have just completed DILR section. So uh, like you need to understand that you need have to compartmentalize different section. And as mm. soon as the DILR section is over now, you need to throw out everything about VRC and uh, DILR out of, uh, out of the window and just focus, start focusing on quants. Like, you know, this is going to happen with few of you that uh, like a few of people that they were solving a DILR question and just uh, like as they are just mark, going to mark the option, the section would get over. Or like you are solving it and the section, you know, the section, uh, like uh, the section gets over. So you mm -hmm. need to understand that, uh, like uh, you need to have compartments for that. And uh, like what I used to do is like when, uh, like, if you follow that the bucketing strategy for DILR and all those things, so you you probably have done all the easy question at the start. So what I used to do that if there is only like a minute or two left in uh, like the uh, DILR, like 60, 90 seconds. So you you need to just relax at that time, go over your, your strategy for quant and like all in all just, you know, uh, get focused on quant section. And like for uh, like, Quant section, these are the few points I feel like everyone should focus on is to have, like, is to keep, keep uh, the... So, yes, see, what work. Do, right, uh, the PPT is up on the screen, you can have a look at that. So, we will go through your strategy first, and then we will start with the uh, arithmetic, geometry, and algebra, wala common uh, you know, pointers that CAT loves to us. So, we shall do that later. So yeah, you can move ahead. You want to refer the PPT, that's okay. Otherwise, this is for like students' ka reference. But you can move ahead and you know, kind of uh, brief about your strategy. Yeah. Uh, so uh, like for quant preparation, there uh, like you need uh, you need to uh, make sure that you learn the basics and mm. formulas for all mm. the topics. Because mm. if you see now, 2018 geometry was so easy that you know three four questions of geometry was just solvable by Pythagoras theorem. So okay. there will be question uh, like that uh, if you leave some like this uh, people who have left geometry at that time lost on those three, four questions. So at least know the basics for all the topics and for like there uh, for topics like uh, like time, space, distance and time and work, know the concept because in, in this, in this topics, uh, the formula, learning the formula for different uh, scenarios is more tougher than knowing the concept and applying it to that. Mm. And like quant may basically it's only practice, practice, practice. See, There's nothing you can do ex except for practice. Even for uh, like, even for people who think that they, they are not good at quants, they should also at least go through advanced level quotient to understand that which question they have to live in the quant. Like just say, I have done that C2C ka challenger and advanced level. Which is which is very which was very helpful to you know make you understand that these are the tough questions whether uh, and it will also help you understand whether you can attempt such questions or you have to just recognize such questions in exam and leave it 
leave the, uh, and not to attempt those questions. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. So when we uh, talk about this um, practice, right? Yes, see. Now, I know you help from IIT Delhi background. You were like mastermind. You know quants very well. We'll start from a very scratch level. Um, on a very honest level, if you look at papers for the last three years, you have done the research, I'm very sure. So for someone who's really struggling hard with the quants, hmm, somebody who's not an engineer, somebody who is an engineer, but really, really, you know, not good at quants. On an average, if you look at how many questions will be there, which I always say conceptual base, hoga, formula base, hoga, out of those 34 ka slot, how many questions will be there, which will be like straightforward, irrespective of the LOD, paper easy or tough or toughest, so even for that matter, CAT 2018 points, how many questions were there? Ke bacha log aram se kar lega, agar, matlab, if they give an hour, like, you know, the complete hour for solving, they should be able to, will they be able to get 10, 11 questions done, like formula based unit three methods? Say? Yes, like, like, even if, the, even if, like, if, even for 2018 paper, where the, the quant was tough, there were uh, like there were ten questions which was just uh, formula based. You just need to apply mm. the formula and calculate it. Mm. And even even after, uh, like keeping aside the ten questions, there were like uh, uh, like twelve questions which were uh, which which would require some time, but still you can uh, apply the formula and get it done. True. So you uh, you can balance between that. That if you are someone who 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 requires time to uh, attempt some questions, so. Just do the easy question and try to attempt some of the uh, tougher questions. Mm -hmm. Tough questions, not tougher. Uh, like there will be uh, some questions which, which so you should leave uh, whatever the cases case is there. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. With your experience, what do you think um, when we talk about students who are struggling with quants and who are just trying to break the cutoff? Let's say 80 to 90 percent LGB when which one thing will be better enough for them so that you know they can do let's say algebra or arithmetic or geometry or what you would suggest yeah what's your take on it so uh like there are there are like uh, two 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 uh, like at least do the topics uh mm -hmm. like you know uh, like arithmetic topics uh algebra and geometry do the mm -hmm. topics from that you can uh you can uh you can you shouldn't leave any topic entirely hmm. just know the basics basics is quite important true yeah true. just know the basics of all the topics and make sure you have uh you have graphs graphs on two three topics okay perfect now the, the thing is um most of the time uh when we when we talk about quants as such there is there is a there is a big uh you know, misconception about quants, yeah, quants very high level ka hota hai, and we engineer level ka knowledge hona bahut zaruri hota hai. Non-engineers bahut hi same hai, same jaate ki nahi sir, humse nahi ho raha hai, kya kare? You have cracked quants, um, you know, very well. Uh, do you really think that the cat quants is that tough, the way it has been hyped in the market? Do you really think? Uh, like, no. Like, but you still need to understand that there will be difficult question. Mm. You need mm. to follow like you before at, at start attempt. That once you start attempting now, you need to scan through the entire question paper. Mm. You need to slot uh, like you need to slot the questions in three according to your comfort level. You need to slot the questions in three uh, sections like slot one, which which are very easy. You will only take a mm. minute to solve that, which we, mm. which you will do in first your first attempt. Then mm. the, there is second attempt question which mm -hmm. are easy, but will mm -hmm. take some time to compute it. Mm -hmm. So, which you will do in your second uh, second uh, attempt for the, of the question paper. And third section should be, which will, like, which, which you will only go to when you have time, if you have time at the end. Like, and if, if, if the quant section is tougher now, then it's, it is also a trap for engineer students also. Because mm -hmm. they ego pe aa jate hai, I am an engineer, I should be able to do this question. Mm -hmm. How am I, like, you know, you remember the concept, like, you have done, uh, like, many tough questions in 11th and 12th, tougher mm -hmm. than this. So you tend to think that, no, I should be able to do that. So it's a trap for engineer students also, and they should, you know, they, uh, the non-engineer, so they, they look at the, uh, look at a tough question, they understand that it's out of the league, and they move on to an easy question. But, and, agar, engineer, us pe, us pe bhi agar, time waste kar raha hai na, so it's a time wasted. True. 
True, because everybody is going to give that 60 minutes and if you're not utilizing those 60 minutes in a proper way, then you're not getting that score, that's for sure. Now, uh, what was your strategy in 2019, Yasti, when you started with quants? Because quants is going to be there in the end. So, VRC screws you up. For example, you may talk about the, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, in a general way, I know you are damn good with VRC. Um, so, let's say VRC, ho gaya, DLR, ho gaya. now you are like completely exhausted. And there comes a monster, which is quants. Like, what was your strategy in 2019? How did you go ahead with that? Hmm. So, uh, like, what I did, like, uh, you always check the clock when the ILR session is getting over. Like, until unless you are in middle of question, if there is a, like, if there are like 60, 90 seconds, uh, seconds remaining on clock, when you are attempting the ILR, then you can just relax. If you're following the bucketing strategy now, you're already done with all the easy questions. Mm -hmm. So the chances of you finding an easy question, you reading the question and you, you are you're like, you know, you attempting it in 60 seconds is not going to be high. So you can just relax, like have a drink of water and just prepare for like, you know, go over your strategy for quant. Mm -hmm. So you are in, in the right mindset when you are starting the quant section. Okay. And uh, like and 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 uh, like you know, it, your your uh, my uh, your uh, your uh, focus on any section should be such that now the uh, if you are if it's a nine to twelve paper after ten I don't remember anything about VRC. Like mm -hmm. nine to ten, I'm an expert in VRC. I know all the rules. I know all the RC rules, all the strategy. But after mm -hmm. ten, I don't know anything about VRC. Mm -hmm. After twelve, I throw out all my concept uh, mm -hmm. concept of DILR. Eleven after eleven, I throw out all my concept of DILR. So what she's making a mention here is basically start one of CAD uh, and that's what the timeline, what she's actually referring out here. Fair enough. Uh, so uh, yesterday we will just kind of, you know, uh, want to have an idea. The way you mentioned that 2018 with geometry was damn easy. 2019, can you give us a little reference game? Uh, how, you know, 2019 was different than 2018. Can you, uh, from your perspective? Uh, 20, like, like, as, as, uh, like in 2018, as I said, the geometry was very easy. But in 2019, the geometry questions were a bit tougher. Mm -hmm. So basically, like when I talk about geometry now, so how can you get a geometry question tough? So uh, like, like geometry is purely formula based. Like okay. even if you know the concept behind the thing and you don't, don't remember the formula, you're not going to sit there and derive the formula based on your concept. No, if you know the formula, you will attempt that geometry question. If you don't, then just leave it. So mm -hmm. basically, as I say, or one thing in geometry, mein, that they pro, uh, there is an overload of information. Like, they say, take this angle, take this angle, take this value, take this line. Ka value le lo. So you get confused that which, which, uh, like which uh, information is required and which formula to use. So geometry ka level is like this. So uh, like, when you are looking at a geometry question, it's very easy because of this, it's very easy to find a tough question. You just, uh, like, you just, you know, what I do is just draw, draw the diagram. If I don't, uh, if, if, if the formula that has to be used do not click me in first 30 seconds, now, just leave the question. True. Just leave the question, uh, mm -hmm. question for that. Similarly, like, uh, similarly, like algebra. Algebra, uh, like, you, if you see now, all the questions of algebra basically boils down to system of equation questions. Mm -hmm. if, you if even if it's a uh, come, like you know paragraph or anything, it boils down to a system of equation. So like isme uh, like they introduce LO LOD higher LOD uh, based on like they'll introduce some condition, mm -hmm. then they'll, they'll introduce some inequality with that. So just say as a kuch question where where there will be like you'll have to see several cases 